Hey guys, what's up? It's Finch here. We're back with another OU Live for the Top 10. Today we're actually back using a multi tier team because that seemed to be received really well by you guys. So I wanted to get one more of these bad boys in for DLC with our boy Stunfest. But this time around, we're showcasing another Pokemon in particular. In fact, something that is going to be a bit more exciting to use, I'd say. And that is going to be Arctivish. It's a choice band Arctivish with Ficious Rend. Unfortunately, we're facing Pecks here, but we're paired with our bad boy Salazzle, the RU pick, Incineroar, the NU pick, uh, the UU pick, and then we've got Corp 9 Dragapult as our OUs. Um, let's just go through it real quick. We got uh, just standard ass Stunfist from last time, same spread. It leaves, it leaves every hit and then some. We got uh, Arctivish, which he's strong, but it's still checked by things like, you know, water is just like, say, Toxpex. And then we got Salazzle for things like Toxpex, and just abuse that. Um, we also have Incineroar as a Pivot, Ghost Resist, Corviknight, Defogger, and a Wisp Hex Dragapult. Um, yeah, one other thing is let's look at our ladder ranking. As you see, we are top 23 at 1896. We are just about 50 points out, 45 points out of the top 10. So maybe we could get there today, maybe not. Um, looks like this team's going to be pretty hard to face. So we're definitely going to have to be in our best here. Um, we're going to lead with Stunfist, though. I'm predicting, yeah, something like Cinderace. We're going to be able to get... Um, we're going to go for a Toxic turn 1, predicting the Hippo. Um, oh, no static there. Please go Hippo. That'd be really great if he goes Hippo. Hopefully no Pax. Pax would suck. He goes Hippo. That's great. We get the Tox. Okay, this is delightful. Now, we don't want to risk this taking an Earthquake, so we're going to go right to Corviknight because we don't have any Wish in this team. He does go for the Earthquake. Okay. Now we're going to go um, Hard Arctivish here as he goes for the Rocks. And we're going to go for Psychic Fangs, predicting the Tox Pax. He goes Corv... Oh, man, Fish's friend would have took it. Alright, that's fine. We're going to go back to Corviknight now. On a U-turn, okay. He's probably going to go to Zero. He goes Gengar? Well, okay. Um, we'll just go into Sonora then. He Shadow Bolt is nothing. And now we're going to Parting Shot out as he goes Corviknight again. I'm not really sure about these plays, buddy. But okay, we're just going to get a Defog off here. Hopefully we could reset a little bit. Um, now he goes Zero. Alright, this time, okay. We're going to go Stunfisk here, knowing that we're... Oh, it's Toxic. That's not great, actually. Um, okay, so we're going to... We're gonna go rocks here, and now if he goes hippo, he goes corv. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna discharge this time, and now we're gonna go uh, salazzle. Yeah, you turned. Okay. Now he goes zero aura. Um, we're gonna sludge with that. He plus we should live this if it's not magnet. He's he is magnet. Oh damn. All right, that sucks a ton. Um, we're gonna get this back in here, and now we're gonna predict a double switch, and we're gonna double out to Arctivish. We catch the Corviknight. All right, we're just going to go Fish's Rend. He seemed to stay in last time. Yeah, that kills it. Okay, that is huge. That's out of the way. Okay, that's great. It's really strong. Yeah, as you can see. If he goes back to Zero Aura, that's fine. We're going to go to Stunfist now on the Volt Switch. Okay, this guy is just not playing great. We're going to Earth Power here. He goes Gengar. That does a ton. All right, Stunfisk is putting in the work, and so is Arctivish. That's really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to go into Sonora here, and he focused. He specs Focus Blast. Oh, no. All right, that's fine, though. Um... We know it's Pex now, so we could just Wisp here safely. He goes Pex, we hit. Okay, now we're going to get a Hex off for as much as we can do. Um, this is 61, that's great. Okay, now um, I, I, I see no reason why I have to U-turn here. He goes Cinderace. Um, wasn't what I was hoping to see, but it's fine. We should be able to manage. Um, we're just going to go Earth Power here. Um, I need to get damage off on this. He goes, don't flinch, please. Okay, we get a drop. Um... Hmm. We gotta fight this. We gotta fight. We're gonna go Corviknight here. Is that hit button? Now we should be able to live a um a Pyro Ball and just kill it with Brave Bird. You wait, is he not he's not Pyro Ball? Okay, wait. That's good. He goes there, Aura, okay. Um We're gonna go for body press. We don't need health in this. He just volts. Okay, that does 46. Let's chill. Just don't go Gengar, please. Oh god, he's gonna go Gengar. He goes Pex. Okay, that's cool. We can just heal up. I don't mind Pex healing up against us. Yeah, this is fine. He goes zero or now. Um, this is a huge problem. Um, we'll go to Stunfisk here. Yeah, um, we're gonna get rocks, but maybe he can't kill us. He's close combat. Yeah, okay, that does. Um, okay. Yeah, this looks like it's a lost game. We'll pray he chokes and stays in. Actually, wait, we hard wall him with this. What the hell? We could just hex here. Yeah, he all he could do is vault. Okay, wait. There's a chance, maybe. What the hell is this set? He goes hippo that just dies. Yeah, okay. Uh, it still looks pretty bleak, guys. Not gonna lie. Um, he's probably gonna go Cinderace and Sucker. He goes back to Zara Aura. Okay. He's gonna just Volt then. So what we could do is we could go to the uh, Corviknight. Yeah. 
goes, why would you go plasma? Oh my god, he tried to throw out a game away. Damn it. That sucks. Um, yeah. I mean, like, if he stayed in Plaza Fist and we killed him, we actually could have won that game. Because he wasn't Powerball in that. Yeah. But it's fine. Yeah, okay, he, he just lets it, he just... Okay, yeah, no, it was over at that point anyway, but that's a really frustrating start. Um... So we're gonna drop like 30 points now, that sucks. But I guess it's kind of what we get for using these Pokemon, but at the same time. What is this? No knockoff? Oh boy. My pin for a long live, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother. It's fine. Um Anyway, that's a wrap. I'm no big deal there. Okay. I really want to gain points, though. Like, I want to make top 10, but I just want to use cool shit at the same time. It's just hard when you're this high in the ladder to, like, find that balance. And maybe this is too much, but it's fine. We're going to rock it. We're going to rock it for sure. We probably just took a huge hit, though. Um, yeah, no, we're nowhere in sight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How far did we fall? Where did I miss me? Why, where did I miss it? Oh, we're still 19. Okay, we're still top 30. All right, so let's get a big win here. Yeah. Um. Um. All right, guys. Um, first off, while I, I have you here, I do want to say thank you guys so much for the support. Yesterday's video is probably my favorite to record this far. The Zuelis plus Hydreigon video. That was really fun. But, oh, we got Storm Zone. Oh, my, we keep getting Storm Zone. My guy, my guy, Storm Zone. My guy, Storm Zone. What's poppin'? All right, he's got threats on deck, though. Oh, my lord, left and right and somewhere in the middle. Hell, yeah. For the same, bruh. All right, this is the man. We're going to lead with Incineroar. Hopefully, he doesn't lead comp. Okay, this is fine. We're just going to get off a of Wisp. He goes Rocks. Just chill. We're going to, um, we're going to Parting Shot here. He goes Heat Wave. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll go Stunfisk. Get Rocks up. I don't think he'd do a ton to us. It did nine. So, yeah, I, I think it's probably like a bulky variant, which is cool. We actually built a team with that in the building series. A full time system, like 25. Minus one, 21. Oh my god, that did negative damage. Yeah, we go back here, and now we're gonna get a knockoff on this. You know, we'll wisp once in case he switches to combo. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. That is some goat shit right there. We're gonna scout for, um, you know, we're gonna go Corbin in case he's special. He's physical. Okay, that's chill. Now we're gonna predict Toxtricity or Zara or to come in. Um, We're gonna go Dragapult. Zara Aura, okay. Um, I'm not risking being Life Orb. He's Life Orb. Okay, thank God we didn't risk that. This is a problem, though. We don't have enough longevity on this team. All right, now we're going to predict the Hydreigon to come in. And we're just going to um, go to Zero Aura. Dragapult again? Yeah. Okay. He goes Como. All right, that's fine. We could just hex it and it should die. Yeah. We got to get, like, every play right, though. This is the issue with not having Clef. He goes Zero Aura. And, like, now, like, what do we do? Like, we can go Corviknight on the knock. And then we could go to... We'll stay in and this. It's fine. He, he didn't kill us. Okay, perfect. We got it right. Yeah. All right. We, we're on fire. We got to get all these plays right to win these games. So that's like kind of the, the stretch with these teams. Wait. Oh, okay. We're just going to go for Brave Bird. Okay. He's banded. That's chill. Actually, it's kind of a problem. Right, Hydreigon. I'm hoping it's not Scarf, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to go into Sin here and I'm going to Parting Shot. Um, you turn, Okay. So he's Scarf. Yeah, that's good. Well, it's not great, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not great, but it's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Now we're going to go Dragapult, and we are just going to, um, we're going to will us here, yeah. Predicting the sucker, okay. He goes for high jump kick, that's interesting. Now we're just going to will with again. I mean, what, I just, that was my only play. That was my only play, dude, like, what do you want? Um, now we'll just U-turn here. Yeah, we're getting Cinerac in. He goes Heat Wave. Yeah. Um, now we just knock this off. I'd love to knock the Hydreigon. That does nothing alone. All right, it's fine. We could just... Um, we could just... Yeah, that does nothing, as you see. And now we could get our Arctivish kill, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go if he's just around it. Yeah, oh my god. Just, he just outruns it, too. Okay, that's dope. Um, you might be scared that we're Scarf, so I make a Hydreigon here, which would be great. Um, this dies to rocks. It's just Toxtricity we got to be scared of, but it's pretty scary. Um... 
He goes to electricity. Hopefully, he's like really slow or goes for some dumb shit. Okay. That's not ideal. Um, we should be able to live ahead at plus one now. Are we? Well, hold up. Let me calculate real quick. Um, we're timid, unfortunately. I hate being timid, but we are timid. Timid versus toxicity. Just it's doing choice spec damage. That overdrive is a roll to kill, unfortunately. Draco, timid. It actually has a good chance to kill up the rocks. 56 3. Are we taking that chance? Please, please, please. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. So, please, just, just one thing. Come on. Damn, so lucky. Ah, uh, like, he got everything. You need to get everything there. All right, that sucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. I'm just trying to think, is there a way we can live this with Salazzle at full? No. Not even close. Incineroar? An outside chance. 290, 291. 61.3. Alright, just don't get... Yeah, actually, 61. We're at... um. So we're at 241. 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so yeah, it's. Come on. Oh, come on. <sighs> Damn, that that's just really unfortunate. That sucks. Oh. Oh well. So, if he's modest, then let me break it down. Then the roll on Dragapult becomes favorable and no one's never become favorable, which still, I was favored to kill. But, like, if you do the math, like, before, it was, like, 95-5. If you do the math then, I'm thinking, um, 60% chance to kill plus, like, yeah, it was probably, like, a 70-30 game. Let's pray someone just doesn't. Yeah, I killed. All right, whatever. Good game. That really sucks, honestly, because we're losing a ton of points now. <laughs> like the competitive part of me is like, no, you're throwing away all these points using these meme mons. I mean, like, I played that one really well. But I just I couldn't make up all that ground using, you know, a lack of a defensive core, pretty much. It's just Dunfisk and Corviknight, like you know. All right, we're gonna hopefully lead Hippo, and we're gonna lead Arctivish. Just. We don't have a switch into Hydreigon, so we need to back off kills before he picks off kills. Um, that's not great, but we're going to predict a... Uh, we're going to predict... Do we want to predict U-turn? No, we're not going to bother. We're just going to go for it. We knock. Okay. Um, now, knowing he's going to... Okay, now we're going to double Arctivish. Yeah. So he's going to go Hippo on us. He goes Cinderace. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we'll go um, We'll go Incineroar, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. He might feel... No, Scarf's slower than this, so it doesn't even matter. Um, he's probably just gonna high jump. If he's gonna, he hopefully doesn't high jump kick. He U turns. Okay, that works. Yeah, no, this isn't a great start. Um, hmm. Hippo. Okay, we're just gonna parting shot the Arctivish because it does get a kill here. And Grassy Train weakens his EQ, although he might be high horsepower. That'd be really smart. Um, yeah, we get a kill here now for sure. Unless, like, it might. Rillaboom might just live. I kind of want Ice Cool Crash here. But now nah, we're just gonna fish this round. It, it does enough. And I don't want him to stay in and like live. Because getting this out of the way would be pretty nice for Stunfisk and Incineroar. So yeah. I'm just doing like 75. 63. Okay, not bad. We were stored a little bit because of that. It's cool. Now we're gonna go to uh Incin here. Draco, it's life orb, okay. 
And we'll go Corv here because Flame doesn't kill us. So he probably just Draco's again. And just let us defog on it. Yeah, he Draco's. Actually, we'll just Roost because that's the safest play. Yeah. Um. We need this healthy for a couple things. All right, he's um he's banded probably. We're just gonna go Dragapult. We don't really need the tongue since he got cleft there. We're way behind. It. He's, he's banded. Okay, he keeps going through U-turn, but Pyro Ball is like super free there. I don't know why I didn't go Pyro Ball, but all right. Um, he goes cleft. We'll just U-turn here. Arctivish, she wishes. Okay, now something dies. Yo, I want to ice. No, we're just gonna fish this round. It's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna fish this round. It's supply. Because what happens is, if he goes Rillaboom, he's gonna probably double out predicting the Corviknight. So we might just stay in on that. Honestly, we need to make up some ground, so... Yeah. Maybe he just stays in here. He's like, oh, I can lose this. Yo, yo, yo. And he just dies. That'd be fucking hilarious. He gets Protect. Okay, that's a bad play, because he just wasted the Wish for nothing. But yeah, now, he's probably gonna go Rillaboom here. Um... Oh, we just found his Hydra again. Okay. So, Arctivish 1 had Dragon 0. That's cool. Now he goes to the Cinderace, though. Um, unfortunately, if the fodder up brother and Sonora is probably going to U-turn knowing how he's been playing. Okay, yeah, he U-turns. I kind of wish I went Stunfisk in one of those and caught a static. We haven't actually caught a static with it, which is, like, another big part of it. But, yeah, no, it's chill. Um, it's real boom. All right, we'll just go Slazzle here. Um, yeah, nothing stops us from just nasty blooding here. Oh, good Scarf? Wait, why are you not high horsepower for your Scarf? Hello? All right, um... Yeah, that's useless now. We just go Corv. He's probably just gonna Earthquake. It easily kills us through Grassy Train. So he's definitely going for that. Issue Cinderace is invited in repeatedly. So we're gonna, um, we can defog here, right? Now we're just gonna go Stunfisk. We should live to, and we don't really need it for anything else. I'd love to get Rocks up to ship this. Because Power Ball does nothing. All right, he's gonna switch here. So probably to Clef or Hippo. So we're just gonna go Rocks again. If he stays in here, I'd be so ticked. Yeah, okay. Now, um, we're gonna go Arctivish now, because we live in Earth Earthquake with ease. And we're actually oh, we go Cinderace. Okay. We're just gonna go Dragapult. Yeah, I see no reason why not to. Wait, it's Boots after all. Oh damn, it's like Adam and Boots, I guess. Hmm. He goes U-turn again. It's a lot. Damn, Dragapult, you frail motherfucker. Uh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but anyway, um... Hmm. He's probably gonna go Clef. He's gonna teleport here. So what if we, um... What if we just text on the teleport? Yeah, now what does he do? Now he's got nothing to go to besides Rillaboom. He's gonna go to... He's gonna U-turn now? He's gonna knock. He's gonna probably knock. So, what if we go Stunfisk on that knock slash U-turn and get a static here? That'd be real clutch. This still lives plus two close combat without rocks. That's great. Um, no static, and he gets a crit. All right, well. I guess when you're overly optimistic like that, bad things happen. <laughs> Good to know. I'll, I'll try and control my powers and just be moderately optimistic instead. Um, he goes Hippo. Okay, that lets us get a Toxic on it as he goes Rocks, probably. He actually might double out predicting Arc. Okay, he doesn't do that. Now we're gonna go Arctivish here. So we should, oh, it's high horsepower. We should live in our high horsepower, let's be honest. And he might go Clef. So yeah, that'd be great to catch that. No way high horsepower kills. Um, so what are your thoughts on Arctivish and Arctizolt? That's a little comment or question. Cause those Pokemon are like sort of viable. Oh, those are little boom. Okay, good play. Because those Pokemon are sort of viable in lower tiers, but not so much in, like, OU. Um, we're going to call the U-turn, and we're going to fish this round. Yeah. We got him. We got him. Okay, we got to kill now. Um, grassy. Terrain. And that's just a die. Oh, my lord. We're picking up kills with the fish. The fish. Yeah, so let me know what you think about this and Arctic Assault. They're basically mini um, Drake Fish and Drake Assault. Now we're going to save this as fodder, so we're going to go, um... Actually, we'll just let it go die here. Yeah, it's fine. I don't want the rocks racking up on the Corviknight. Because I need to check Lutra, which he might just go to here. Now we go Cinderace instead. I don't think that was the best play for him, but we'll take it. Now, um, 
He's gonna U-turn probably, so we hope he gets static. But if he stays in power balls, we can get earth power off. That's fine. He goes hard cleft. That's chill. Um, you're just gonna discharge into it. I'd love to get a parry. He's probably gonna. Um, he's probably gonna wish or port. That's unfortunately low, so I think he's gonna port. Yeah. So give me the power. All right. This is like allergic to getting paralysis. Unfortunately, he goes roll boom now. All right. So now we're gonna um, go Corviknight. Hopefully he doesn't U-turn. That'd really suck. He goes Woodhammer. Okay, perfect. We timed this really well. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roost up on this turn, and Grassy Train's actually been working our benefit. Um, he's probably gonna go Cinderace here, yeah he does, which is smart, he's gonna heal up to full. But now our Stunfisk is healthy enough to check it once more. He goes for another Power Ball a lot, but it's fine. We're gonna go for a Discharge now, predicting, he doesn't even rest Static, okay. That's chill, so now he's gonna go to the Clef. We're gonna Discharge twice. Actually, we're gonna go Slazzle here on the Wish, yeah. We got a crit there, but it didn't really matter. Um... He goes hard teleport. Okay, that leaves it low. That's cool. He goes Cinderace though, which means he's probably gonna Zen. I don't really have anything to take the Zen. That's the issue. We're gonna go let go of Dragapult, unfortunately. Hopefully, he, like clicks U-turn or some shit, because he's like that, that'd be desirable for us, I guess. Um. Yeah, no, we're, we're, this is a losing battle in the long haul, unfortunately, because he never got any statics, which sucks. Um, we'll go for discharge again here, but yeah, we can't really beat the Cinderace. Nothing. Never. Um, we just can't win with this team. We'll stay in a discharge again on U-turn. Yeah, no static again. Is static not like worth this gen? I don't get it. Still nothing. Okay, we're just going to discharge. He seems to be insistent on just like staying in and doing this. So, Like if he teleports here, it'd be cool to fish with a para. Um, and he does. And we get the para. No full para though. Okay, well it's one for two, I guess. At long last. Um... All right, so we're gonna go Corvina here predicting the wood hammer. He goes U-turn. Yeah, yeah, here we lose this Cinderace pretty much. Um, we gotta go to Slazzle. He powerballs and he crits, it sucks. Um, he still risks a miss if he doesn't U-turn. We are in U-turn range because of the crit though. Maybe he's adamant after all. So we'll find out here. He crit a lot, even if it's a Slazzle. So maybe he's adamant after all. No, he's not. And he hits it. So, yeah, okay. Um, at this point, we're free to just uh, Earth Power this in case he stays. It's not going to hit Lucha, but there's no terrain up anyway. So, yeah. He goes Clef, and okay, that's great. We should be able to kill it. We do just that. All right. Um, he goes Rillaboom now. We got to get this turn right. If he goes Woodhammer into Corviknight, we win. We can win, rather. All right. Um, we should be able to stall out Power Balls now. We're going to roost on this one to 73 and we get the train. Yeah. And now we're going to roost on this one and he's U-turn. So he's not bulk up. So yeah, that's what I mean. Um, when I said, if we would have, we can win because we could just do that. Just don't burn us, please. Just, oh my God, that did so much. There's like max damage. All right. We're saved now though. He can't kill us. So yeah, we stalled up pyro balls. That's pretty much how we got to do it, which is ridiculous considering Stunfisk is so little, but grassy drain kind of bailed us. And now we should win with this on the spot now. Um, he did knock us, but yeah, we're now we're recovering up pretty nicely. Um, I jump kick that does gonna do like 30, Jesus, close to 40. Okay, I was gonna say 30, 35, but I guess given oh, he missed. Okay, that I mean, we're, we're stalling out anyway, so yeah. Um, now what we do here is we're just gonna go for a um body press so we could heal it more. Yeah, no, we could roost off again and just don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit. Please don't crit. We might actually just stall him out of high jump kicks, honestly. Yeah, this guy didn't notice it, but yeah, Pyro pp has gone. He goes real boom now, okay. Now we're at full health, that's great. Um, we're just gonna roost and see what he does. Um, so I don't wanna give Lucha a super, I don't think he's U-turning to it, so yeah. We haven't revealed Brave Breed though. So that's really cool. Only weakness with pressure, that weakness is magnified. Prob shouldn't have pyroed Lazlo again, though. Yeah, that was a mistake. He shouldn't have pyroed Lazlo, I agree. Okay, he goes superpower. That's chill. So now what we're going to do is we're going to roost one more time. And then we stall the terrain. Now we're going to go stun fisk here. We caught the Cinderace. Okay, that's really good. And now what we can do here is we can actually... Um, now we can't quite kill it. Uh, well, Earth Power just because it does more and he's not going to Halucha here. Um, well, that's the game. Well, I think a couple other things probably cost him the game, too. 
He just didn't manage his um, PP super well. Honestly, yeah, that just don't crit. Now we get the static power. How funny. Right, so he's going to go Rillaboom here. And now, um, we'll just go Core for no, no loss. Yeah, and um, Roost, yeah, a couple times. Um, a lot of PP for Woodhammer. Um, we can actually just spam Defog. I kind of want to, yeah, we stalled him out of terrain. That's perfect. No we'll Roost. Yeah, we'll go, um, we'll go just Roost here, yeah. Actually, I want a Brave Bird, because if he resets terrain, yeah. We got him. Okay, that was perfect. We played that really, really well, guys. This is like the best live playing wise, but I mean, it's all futile. And um, we're going to win the game with Stunfisk Recoil. Yeah, so Stunfisk. And he got another. <laughs> Good game. All right. Yeah, but I mean, this is just an uphill climb with this team, unfortunately. It was with the other one as well. But yeah, that's kind of the fun of it. Um, ranking's probably low 18s now. 1866. Okay. It's not bad, but we're still well down from before. Yeah, we're still top 50. So let's try and maintain the top 50. Top, th top 40. Yeah. I want to save that replay. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Because apparently that's my catchphrase now. Um, you know, where? We're probably like 20. Yeah, 26 minutes. Jesus. And that's my first win. Only three battles as well. This is not the best live. Um, sorry, guys. But I am trying my best here. We're up to 300 game mark in this, which is kind of funny. And a lot a lot of OU content. So for those of you guys that said the OU deals a slouch, hey, at least he tries. <laughs> Oh, God, we're against faster, faster OG. Oh, this man's got Sylvia. Oh, okay. I've never seen a better game between Stunfisk because no one leads Diggersby. No one leads Diggersby against Potential Scarf, Arctivish, Dragapult, and uh, Corviknight. He looks packs his chill. We could just go for rocks. We don't have a status absorb anyway, so all we do is just go for he's, If he's Toxic, that's just fine. He just knocks his dead chill, too. Now we're going to go hard Lazzle as he probably like goes Toxic Spikes or Skull. Oh, okay. Well, you know, this is a fine. I mean, we don't really have a choice. Yeah, okay. And now we could at least text this. So we're going to bait in a fairy type and we go U-turn here. Who stays? All right, he's going to knock again. So we'll just go Stunfisk. Yeah, okay. Um, now we'll just Discharge, I guess. Okay, Skulls. That's great. Now we can go Arctivish in a fairy type. It's trying to trying to Fable, probably. Yeah, and now we can potentially just pick a kill. Please go to your club. Sylveon, that works too. Now we're just going to fish his rend here. Yeah, that's great. Um, we make two kill packs after rocks and poison. All right, this is actually kind of the, the point of how the team works. Um, it's unfortunate that we have to fodder up the Salazzle, the like main like fairy answer against two fairies, but we kind of had to do it to set up other progress. He goes Corp. This is gonna take a million. Watch. It just do okay. Crit. Never mind. It crit. It crit. But that two kills anyway. It's just great. Um, he goes Coma. Okay, we're gonna cut that off with Dragapult. It's fight a rocker. So yeah, it does not rock slap. So he goes rocks. Now we're gonna U-turn here, trying to catch a fairy type. Um, and bring Arctivish in. He goes Clef. Okay, we can do the same thing again. Yeah. So we're going to get another kill with Arctivish. This is like the Arctivish coming out party. Holy shit. Um, go Pax. I want to see. Oh, come on. He goes Calm Up. This third set is nothing. That, that's just disappointing, guys. Um, he's probably going to Earthquake. You know, I'll go Corv. Back. Oh, I wanted to double so bad. Okay, it's fine. Clef's took rocks, and it's physically defensive. Okay. He, oh, no. He aromatherapy. That's really bad. Oh, we lose. We lose. It's over. Wish. We can knock this. Yeah, there's no way we win this now, though. That's unfortunate. It's a kind of shitty set, not going to lie. We'll wisp it. But, um, yeah, we can't win. We'll just knock in case, I guess. But we don't have enough longevity. That's the issue with this team. Now, um, we'll parting check here. And now we could, um, we could wisp it. But, yeah, it's futile. He can knock us. Yeah, and now he can go Clef and U-turn. And this is too healthy. It's checked, and he's got Protect. He goes Sylveon. Yeah, I mean, we could just fish this friend again here, but he can just go Como. We take rocks every time. It's just not working, I guess you could say. Um, but that's fine. We're trying it out. Um, it's always cool to try new things. He goes Pax. It's going to take like 40. 38. Okay, wait. Give me the roll here. Give me the roll. That's sad. That's real sad. We're going to go Dragapult here. And we can just we can't win this game. Yeah, he just goes Sylve, and we, we just have we don't have the tools. That's unfortunate. We're losing so many points off this, but it's fine. Um, we're gonna try this, and then maybe tomorrow we'll use a bit more of a serious team. So I've kind of using these memes for like a week and a half now in this channel, and some of them are like somewhat serious. But yeah, um, this team desperately needs status absorber. Team desperately needs uh, pivot. 
that we just don't have, we can't afford. Um, this is what I'm saying, like Magic Guard stuff, it's, just, it's so good, just, it, it puts teams together. It gives them like cohesion, if you will. Um, but there's definitely a lot of positive sides about using fun things. I've been having a lot of fun personally, and I think you guys have been enjoying it in the comments as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm usually a more standardized player, truth be told, but th this has been a, a bit of a special occasion for me. Because there's no really serious things on the line for the metagames, like I can use the memes. And I'm going to try and bring that over to post-DLC time, because you guys seem to enjoy it, but... It'll be more of an in-moderation than like an every single night we're using like unviable stuff. So we're going to integrate the unviable stuff with viable stuff, basically. But um, we, should still be able to get, we, we should still be able to get one or two more games. All right. Um, this guy's got no rocks. No rocks. No rocks. We're gonna just going to lead Arctivish. And he's, we're going to hope he doesn't mock punch us. We're just going to fish his friend. Yeah, that works. And he bolted. And wait, is he gonna get flame warp? He is. He's, he's gonna mock punch you. We're gonna go drag bolt on that. Oh my god, that's perfect. That's perfect. We're gonna just U turn here. And yeah, um. What is Stunfisk here? What stops Stunfisk? It's like Drago Bubble. You're like, nah, man. Everything's taking something from it. Yeah, watch him go cloister and get killed by a discharge. That'd be hilarious. Please go cloister. Please go cloister. Please. Red heat. Alright, that's fine. We can toxic it. Switch. Ooh, and we missed. Well, it hits everything anyway, I guess. But that's really unfortunate. Because you can get like a overheat now. He misses. Okay, one for one. I fry. That's fine with me. Uh, We'll go and sin here. Yeah, we'll go and sin here. And now we're going to parting shot out as he volts. He crit that, which kind of sucks because now we can't check the drag bolt as well. But he goes Cinderace, which at minus one can't do shit to us. So we're going to just go rocks here. Yeah. You turn and we get the stat. Oh my god. The prophecy. We got static. Yo, don't go cloister. Don't go cloister. He goes random heat. Okay. We're gonna um stealth rock once predicting fog. Overheat. Now we're gonna stealth rock again predicting fog. What if he goes cloy? He's not gonna go cloy. See, we got him, we got him. Now he's gonna go cloy here. And we're gonna double to the Salazzle. Cinderace works too. Not as well though. We're gonna go Incineroar now and get the intimidate on the Zen. Court change? Really? They should never run court change, honestly, in my opinion. A parting shot here, he's quicker. Oh, that sucks. My bad there. He was minus one, to be fair. Um, yeah, he's minus two now. So we're just going to defog this, I guess. Um, but why would you be court change with defog on your team, though? Like, hello? You guys playing a different metagame than me? If so, can you like let me know in the little tips and secrets of your metagame? Jesus, that shit's strong. Hex is mad good here. Yep, and it gets that kill. Alrighty. Um, actually, we can... Uh, is this really Sucker Punch Libero? We'll just go Stunfisk. We'll never know what it is, but we can get, um, we can go to Incineroar now on the, uh, well, we'll never know what it did there either, but I'm expecting high jump kick here, so we're just going to go Dragapult. Oh, okay, we'll never know that either. We're going to predict the Sucker Punch again. There we go. Thank you. And now we're going to go back to Dragapult on the U-turn. Okay, so wait. He's not even Pyro Ball or, all right, he's not one of them. And this is weakened. This is a problem. We're going to go Stunfisk. Anyway, because we can't really stay alive. These life orbs, at least he takes two life orb bits. But that's a problem for damage I put later, because he's going to do a ton to everything and then some. We're going to go to Incineroar here now, bait the close combat, go to the Corviknight. But oh, we lose. Alright. Maybe it's not close combat. Wisp, hit. Okay, great. Wait, wait, chance, chance, chance. We're just going to go for a uh, knockoff here. Alright, we knocked off the orb. Um, at plus two, burnt, that's neutral, so we can go to the, we'll go parting shot, yeah. All right, wait, now we can just go back to Incineroar here, burn this, we get Intimidate off, we live a hit. Yeah, now we're going to go right back to the Corv Knight, we live two hits easily, okay, wait, we did it. We're going to go back to Incineroar here, it dies at that, okay, it's at neutral attack, and it's burnt. We can go Salazzle here. We're really weak to Dragapult, though. Fuck. Um, all right. We probably lose to Dragapult. We are plus B Dragapult, though. So we got to hope he's not Dragon Dance, pretty much. Um, well, maybe we get a Toxic off. Okay, he has Cinderace. That's fine. We're going to... Um, well, it's Zen last. Why would you be Pyro? But why would the fuck? That makes no sense. <sighs> Parry here. Oh, Roost. Okay, that works. Yeah, okay. You know what? That was the biggest... That was the most deserved Paralysis of all time. We can just roost, we can stall a pyro ball pp, yeah. Um, we'll just body press here because we can. 
Yeah, okay, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, we've just roosted off because I think it's doing 70. We still have leftovers in tech, so it's doing 10% to 12% net, 10 to 15% 10 net damage. And it can only has four power balls, so that's not enough to outdo it unless he hits every single one and gets high rolls. So, yeah, he goes Dragon Bolt here. We're going to go to our Slaza now. And the Fire Blast, okay. It might be Specs, it's really cool. We can just, um, we'll go Sludge Wave here. Okay. That means he's choiced. So we can go Arctivish. Actually, we can go Dragapult of our own. And we can just Hex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he might be Scarf. That's a problem. A little bit of a problem. Bogs Bonnie. He goes Cloister. Okay, we're going to Wisp. Don't shard. We hit the Wisp. He crashed. Okay. That's fine. We're going to double here to Arctivish. Why would you show Smash? That makes no sense. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, that does nothing. Wait, that's fine. Just don't be Thunderbolt. Don't be Thunder. Yeah, we're gonna roost here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna body press now. Okay, we got him. So now, um, the play here, the play here is to roost. He's Thunderbolt. Damn it! Does that kill Arctivish? Oh, whatever. We we gotta risk it. Hopefully I live. Hopefully I live. Hopefully I live. Please live. Did 80. Yeah, no way it lives. We lived. Oh my god, we lived. It. We got power. We hit it. We hit it. Oh my god, Arctivish saves the fucking day. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. And we're back up to 1854. Okay, let's not speak about that part. Wait, yo, that's not accurate because we were. I guess we lost again. Oh, we got this guy again. Uh, but now we can't really beat it. Oh, this is rough. Um, we got like nothing for half this team. We're gonna lead with um, Stunfisk because we can. We're just gonna get a Toxic off here. Sure, why not? That did a million and one damage. That's a problem. But it's not gonna do a kill. We'll get rocks up here. Yeah, it's chill. And now um, we don't have a fire type, so we just go for Earthfire here. Just don't kill us. Yeah, okay. So I'm fine with this trade, I guess. All right. Um, now our play is to go to Incineroar here. All right, and this probably is life orb, but we don't really have a great play. That is, in fact, orb. But now we can go this, and we can just click uh, U-turn. Yeah, he goes Bisharp, that's fine. We can just go Salazzle, and it doesn't kill us with one sucker, so we could just flamethrower it, honestly. I kind of want to Toxic predict and Dragapult, but you know, he doesn't even sucker. Okay, that's fair. He probably predicted sub, so yeah, that works. He goes Dragapult now, which we do not have a switch into at all. We'll just go for the Toxic because we can. It drag oh, that shit's offensive as all fuck. All right, so we're gonna go Corviknight now, and hopefully he's not Fire Blast, so we're just gonna Roost here. He goes Hydreigon. Um, he's probably gonna go for a Fire Move here, so we'll go Dragapult. Okay, we got that. Now we're gonna um, U-turn here, predicting the Aegis Slash, I guess. Sure. He goes Aegis Slash, okay. <sighs> we don't have a play here. We go into Sinroar. Hopefully he's not close combat, but he's four attacks life orb, I think. Whatever, we just knock it off. He is in fact close combat. That's a big problem. We go Corviknight, but we can just we just have to roost it off. We lose the game, yeah, now. Shadow Ball. It's the drop. Yeah, it's over. We'll just Brave Bird it. But yeah, it's a trade at best. And now we can't win. Well, we can. If it's not Sucker, Cinderace, and we crit it. We lead this and somehow he doesn't get a kill. All right, so maybe this doesn't kill somehow. It almost definitely does. We live. We kill. Okay, that's cool. So if he's not Sucker Cinderace and he's... Yeah, maybe he like misses here or something. I guess Flash count. Okay. So you turn gets this kill here. Right? Yeah, okay. So just don't be Sucker Punch and take rocks. Okay, he's... Ne yeah. Um. We're going to pray. He suckered and we wisped. Wait. Hold the fucking phone. He suckered again. 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 He su he's then headbutted. He's two suckers left. He suckered again. This is it for the game. You turn. We got him. No, we lived the one, 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 one. You kidding me? You kidding me? Fuck. 
back. He choked so hard. He lifts a Draco from fall. Dragapult. Hex, you turn versus Cinderace. Dark. Well, I needed Max. I should have calc that. So it's my fault. It came down to 50 50s anyway. But I mean, I should have Draco. All right, one more, because that's just not the way to end it. But that's just so anticlimactic. I mean, imagine if we came back and won that. That would have been so crazy after all those chokes he made in the end. Oh, boy. I mean, if he just fought it off Hydreigon instead of the Dragapult. He's almost dead. It's Sucker Punch yesterday. Oh, God, we can't veil. I, we can't beat this either. This is not good. This ain't it, guys. And the good thing is he's lead um, drill. So we can just... Um, oh, he's, lead, he's actually lead Veil. Okay, we'll lead Arc Division Bluff. Okay, he leads Drill. That's cool. We can just... Um, Fish just rend it, yeah. I'm fine trading that, because this is useless against everything else in this team. Earthquakes? That's fine with me. Yeah, um, bring up Sash. No, nope, he's probably going to rock here, so we're just... Okay, let's chill with me. Um, yeah, we'll just Flame here. He's nothing to really switch into Flame. I guess, like, Zero Order can take one. He goes pre Marina. Okay. Um, we lose the fuck, we lose this fuck to this. We got a sludge wave here. Hopefully we crit. No crit. We do get the poison, which is cool, I guess, but not enough. Um, we get hex here, and yeah, now he goes to nine tails. And yeah, we're, we're just a problem. Oh, he goes Bisharp? Okay, we're just, we'll just go Corviknight here, yeah. He knocks us off. Now we'll, um, we'll roost here. He goes there, or we'll go Stunfist now. All right, we get the rocks at this point. He goes nine tails. Um, we'll go into Sinroar here. Hopefully he misses Hypnosis on it. Okay, miss again. He veiled. Oh, god, it lives. Okay, um, he missed. Okay, that's cool. But, 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 he's probably gonna go cloister here. Please go cloister. Let me hit a wisp. Let me hit a wisp. Dear God, if you are out there, please let him shell smash into the wisp. You rock blasted. Damn it. Ah. We gotta, we gotta burn it here. Do we kill? Through Veil? Dragapult versus Cloyster. 151. So yeah, we do kill through Veil. Okay, great. He goes extra. Okay, that's the smart play. Um, he goes Bisharp now. We're gonna go back to Corviknight. Yeah. He just knocks. Okay. We'll go for a Roost here. He goes Zero Aura. We're gonna go Stun Fisk here. Should be able to live a couple. This doesn't look amazing with the Veil still up. That sucks. He's probably gonna bulk up. He bulks up, okay. We don't need Dragapult. We really don't. Now, we're gonna hope he's like some fuck shit. Okay, yeah, now. And now, he's gonna close combat so he can kill with Earth Power. Yeah, please close combat. Damn, he knocked. Okay, we live a close combat now. Um, Wait, this is good. What if he switches here? He might switch here. Why would you knock? Yeah, we already knocked, dude. Um, this 510 Legend dude doesn't know what he's talking about. But yeah, um, don't crit. Oh, thank God. Yeah, see, um, that works. He goes Bisharp here. Um, hold his Earth Power. No nope, static, of course, because we're long our luck. Body press here. Kills this. Isn't it still be Chopple or some shit. Um, and yeah, if we win this, we're going to wrap it up. So, um, I just want to see the track. I don't know what track end team you mean. I have a lot of track end teams. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this live. A lot of ups and downs. But we did finish on it up despite a really anticlimactic finish in that last game. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, we got to use Arctivish today. We did actually get three or four wins out of it. A little of a longer life. Okay, just don't be chopped. Good. And um, yeah, be sure to like if you enjoyed. Um, comment your thoughts on Arctivish and Drake all, And um, subscribe for sure. Yeah, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this. Hold up. Does Cloyster die to a Corviknight? Body press. It doesn't. So we gotta actually, we have to roost here. Really? 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 Are you serious?
That's a wrap, guys. Bye. <laughs>